So I'm Ninja Online guys, welcome back to Resident Evil, this is chapter 21, when we last left off I was completely and utterly, hopelessly lost, and then <laughs> I searched it up and was very, very mad. Now, I could have swore we did this, but apparently, it's not my item button, these books here, if you look on it, on the side. And I guess it has to be lined up properly. And the book opens up and we find out that there was a medal hidden inside the book. That one's a medal of an eagle. Found inside the last book, volume one. Is there a special way to use it? And... I could have swore we examined the side too. Apparently not. I find baloney, but okay. So there we are. <laughs> I spent 45 minutes wandering around and it turned out I had the medals on me the entire time. So I'm kind of big mad about that. I feel like I did, in fact, uh, check the side of the book there. So I, I don't know, obviously I didn't hit the book the right way or examine it the right way. Um, I feel like that isn't my fault. And it's unfortunate that I, I kind of got led astray because I didn't think I had... Um, I didn't think I had the the medals, or I didn't, well, I knew I didn't have the medals, right, whatever. Anyways, though, so let's continue on. I, uh, I can, besides finding out, like, the medals were in the book, I have no idea how much more of the game there is, but just kind of feeling it out, I can tell I'm close to the end. So, we'll see if I beat it in this session here. Also, obviously, as you could see from my load, I stuck with the save from after the fight with, um, what's her name? I want to say Lisa, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I think it was Lisa, right? Anyways, the, the, the fight with the, the girl that was in chains. So I only have nine shots left. We'll see how that goes for us. Of course, I went all the way around instead of like the easiest path. use the elevator find out what's down here this took me the completely opposite direction I thought that was gonna open the doors over there which kind of makes no sense obviously but you never really know mm -hmm. sign reads will not open unless in first-class emergency interesting Yes, we're going down further then. I don't want to just save here, but... It's pretty obvious that there's going to be a boss fight. And I only have nine shots, so in the event that, you know, I run out of ammo, I might be screwed. Funny enough, playing this has made me want to play through um playing this has made me want to play through uh the other resident evils I'm going to have to shoot this guy in front of me unfortunately 
getting dodged. What's that? The ammo disc. That's the second ammo disc we found. It's locked electronically. Guess I'm going downstairs then. Is there anything else in that hallway? No. Okay. I don't know why I did that. I have to condense my inventory first. Take the x-ray. The hell would I need the x-ray for? <laughs> Number 11, Clark David. The name is on it, Clark David. Well, I could have read that for you. <laughs> Guessing this is the exact same thing. Just for rebooting a system of some sort. There's a space to put up uh, an x-ray photography. X-ray photograph. There's a name written at the top. Ed Fisher. Alex Bichet. There's one here too. Memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, and then the one I have here. Uh, oh, that was C, D. Never mind. Don't need to read this. Use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. <laughs> Researcher's letter, June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The result of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reasoning, just thinking about my impeding doom. I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then. Activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole incident, or accident rather, public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I've coded that password into an x-ray picture, uh, re rentinogram. I know you and I, uh, I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Ada and John, okay. 
John, Ada, okay, never mind. I was wrong about the order. <laughs> Okay, so this room's done. Apparently those other two doors are locked anyways. Let me leave it for now. <clears throat> it's locked. If you can get those, just get those levers on the side to work, it should open. Levers for releasing the door lock. Now, if you can just release the locks and the levers. Okay. This hallway is clear, though. <clears throat> There was a zombie this way. And a zombie this way. Those doors are apparently locked. Symbol of releasing a power area is carved into the lock. Is this the door I was looking for? No, it's locked. Simulum, resal simulum resembling a power area. Okay. See those magnum rounds on the ground there? The unfortunate part is I'm probably going to have to run upstairs to kind of get rid of a few things. The Act Researcher's Note There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them the Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already, four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its head, or its crime, its kind, I'm getting tongue-tied, Jesus, Crimson Heads. A dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Verified. Um. Oh, wait, I need the... Okay, that works. I was going to say, I need the, the correct password. I'll take the flash grenade. Is that all that was in here? No. Me trying to figure out what the fuck is still in here. <laughs> Variety of chemicals you've never seen before. The first aid there. Can't see it, but it's there. I guess we're running back up, like I said, and emptying our pockets into the uh, the item box. 
I don't know, maybe I even switch from the shotgun to the magnum. That unfortunately wasn't the only thing in here. Um. I don't know if the Magnum is better than this full auto shotgun. Actually, it's not even a full auto, it's an assault shotgun. No idea how I made it past those two. Uh, yeah. What's my health at? Let's just use those. I could probably feel a little bit safer about things. Uh, we opened B3. Yeah, so I opened this door right here. I'm going to go back for that first aid kit. Really, I should have put picked it up while I was down there because I could have did exactly what I just did here. Jesus Christ. I could have did exactly what I just did here and fucking um, use the herbs. I was low on health anyways. Kind of like this magnum. Not gonna lie. I gotta figure out what we're missing in that hallway though too. The one that I just came out of. So this room's now done. Handgun magazine. That's what it was. Ah. Oh. Because of the camera angle, I ran right into this guy. Because I, I could have avoided that. Okay. This door should be open now. Look at all the shit that's like everywhere. So at least, uh, no, it's not even a safe room. Pretty sure that's John. Facts. To Sanitation Division, Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named uh, addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially esteemed. Sorry, estimated. Jesus. There are several concerns. 
First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our Secretary of Security, Secret Security Patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state, police, and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Interesting. Security system passcode transmission device. If you add an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Looks like a GameCube. And submitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Looks like a refueling device. Slide filter, no. Because against my better judgment, I'm going to take this, run the items upstairs, and then come back. At least I've made myself a... Uh... Can I just combine it that way? Yeah. At least I made myself some... Uh, some more space in my inventory. Maybe that the guy I found in the other room was not John, considering I just found some other guy that looked exactly like that too. <laughs> All right, store those, <laughs> store those, store that. Head back down. I also noticed there was a light switch as we were leaving this room, so I don't know if maybe I should flip that, if I can. Dirty lab coat. There's no ID badge. Will you take the slide filter? Yeah, we'll take it. Anything else in this room? Nope. There are red-colored slides inside. Nothing's on it. Um, <laughs> let 
Not us. Take them over here. Esophagus, liver, colon, and I don't know what was glowing on the other one though. <laughs> to use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Colon. What is this? Colon esophagus C E Stomach? No, liver C E L Lungs Cell. Okay. Let's try that code on the uh the computer then. That should be for the door upstairs on the B2 floor. <laughs> 